If you're not familiar with the website Common Sense Media, you should get familiar with it. It has tons of really great resources for tech integration. The ones we're going to focus right now are under the digital citizenship category. Digital citizenship is so important and so often overlooked. Kids are online all the time and there's lots of things they do not realize about how they should behave online, about using online materials, and that's what we're talking about when you're talking about research. Um, what are the do's and don'ts? You know, Do they know about copyright? Do they understand plagiarism? And it's not the most exciting lessons to create and Common Sense Media has done a really good job of it. They do explain about student video libraries where you can look at different things, but let's take a look at the scope and sequence to find the lessons that are right for your classroom age. So what we're really talking about here a lot is creative credit and copyright or even information literacy that is relating to when you're doing research projects. So you're going to look for this icon or this icon. And you can see the other interesting topics that they have. Internet safety, privacy and security, relationships and communication, cyberbullying, your digital footprint and reputation. So all these things are really important for digital citizenship. But in relation to research, we're going to talk about these two. So if you take a look, and it divides by K through 2, and here's ABC searching for K through 2. It gives you a little mini idea about the what the lesson is on and you can click on ABC searching and it tells you about it the learning objectives and overview materials and preparation the teaching plans how long it's going to take you to do each piece and so it's really really cleared and laid out and even look alignment with what common core standards and what net standards the national, sorry, <clears throat> educational technology standards made by ISTE. So it lays everything out for you, which I think is really awesome. And you can see writing eight, writing eight, writing eight for all three, which is what we're talking about here in the Common Core Standards. So no matter what grade level you're at, you can scroll down and look, my creative work. They're introduced the concept of ownership or over creative work. Practice putting their name and date on something they produce. You could extend that activity to talk about other people's work and that it's owned by other people. So you just need to scroll through and see which one activities really relate to you. Right now when we're talking about creative credit and copyright, that's actually more prevalent to this standard, but there's more than one thing. So if we go to three through five, and here's a creative credit, whose is it anyway? They talk about copying others' works and presenting it called plagiarism. There's our big word, plagiarism. So if you click on it, how can I show respect for people's work? And once again, learning objectives, materials and preparation, teaching plans, and there's W8, there's W8 there's W8 so it really really applies and you can look that's 3 through 5 there is also 6 through 8 it goes into more depth copyright and fair use and the rights that they have creators so great resources understanding of fair use and there's even 9 through 12 so there is something for everyone legal and ethical dimensions of respecting creative work. So Common Sense Media is a great resource, easy to use, lots and lots and lots of resources used by people all over the country.